All right, what do you have here? I've got a handwritten letter from George Washington himself. Where did you get this? So I found it at an estate sale in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, bought a nice decorative mirror. Get to the house, go to put the mirror up, and the cloth that covered the back of it ripped open and taped underneath down at the very bottom was that guy right there. This is really interesting. How much you want for it? About 3,500. Something like this that deals with a historic event, we're probably talking a lot more. My best guess at the moment is if this letter is all legit, it should be worth at least $100,000. Wow. I'm just not buying the fact that a handwritten letter from George Washington was just found in the back of a mirror. People spend a lot of money faking things that are worth this kind of money. So I'm going to call someone up. I'm going to get him down here. I'm going to get him to look at this. OK. Just the thought of leaving here today with a big sack of cash, it, it gives you a lot of anxiety, but it makes you excited, too. Stuart. Hey, how are you, Rick? Good. Hey, Corey, good to see you again. With this much cash on the line, I need to be 100% sure. And Stuart is my go-to guy on historical documents. I was really excited when you called me over, because this is actually pretty important in American history. But this is one of the first times that George Washington really used the power of the federal government. People were uh, okay. uprising in uh, western Pennsylvania, didn't want to pay taxes, tarring and feathering the uh, tax collectors, which may still be a famous uh, American pastime these days. I don't think it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what questions can I answer for you, Rick? OK. Is it really signed by George Washington? And how much is the damn thing worth? OK. In the uh, pantheon of American presidential autographs, there are three at the top. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Abraham Lincoln. About 10 years ago, there were a couple George Washington letters that dealt with the Whiskey Rebellion that sold for about $120,000, $130,000 at auction. It would probably be higher now. There are a few things I use to authenticate these types of documents. So first, I'm looking for period paper. They use what's called laid paper back then. So there should be parallel lines about an inch apart if you hold it up to the light. See those lines uh, that run yeah. down? So that definitely is period paper. That's a good sign for you. The next thing I want to check is to make sure this is in George Washington's handwriting. So I brought in an example here. Let's look at a commonly used word like the. So we can find a word the there and a the there. And if we start looking at the overall feel of it, the letter formation, completely different. So unfortunately, this is not in George Washington's handwriting. One thing this could possibly be is the body of the letter is in Washington's secretary's handwriting, and Washington signed the letter. All right. Let's come over here and look at the George Washington side by side. Here, he signs G.E.O. Washington, where in life, he usually signed G.O. Washington. You can see that it's very different than the way it's written over here. Yeah, so I don't think this is in George Washington's handwriting or signed by George Washington at all. Ah, that sucks. Do you have a really nice napkin? However, I do believe it is old and antique. This is called a contemporary copy. It probably is 220 years old. If somebody wanted to keep a record of the original, they would make a copy for themselves. This probably has a retail value of about $4,000. Nice. So you're telling me that a copy is actually worth $4,000. Right. Copies can be worth money. Um, and this one has really terrific content. This would be about as good a contemporary copy as you can get. All right. Well, thanks for busting your Anytime. bubble. Anytime. <laughs> thanks, All right. Nice to see you again. When I came over to the shop, I knew that the original George Washington letter was in the Library of Congress. However, sometimes famous people make more than one copy of famous letters, and I thought perhaps this would be one of them. For example, Abraham Lincoln actually wrote out five different copies of the Gettysburg Address in his lifetime. I don't mean to beat you up, but I'll give you a thousand bucks for it. Uh, I feel like that's leaving $3,000 for you to just snatch up the next time somebody comes along to buy it. Let's go 2,000. I'll be out the door right now with two grand. I'll tell you what, I'll give you 1,500 bucks. That's the best I can go. 
Look around my shop. You'll find all kinds of things from the 1700s. The 1500, you got a deal. All right. Write them up, Corey. All right, man. Come with me. $1,500 is a lot of money. To be able to walk away with just that today, uh, I'm pretty satisfied. Feels good.